The first case of COVID-19 was confirmed in Canada two months ago. Since then, a whole lot has changed. Throughout this crisis, we've been trying to ease some of your fears and your confusion by putting your questions to the experts. Jeff Semple has more answers for you tonight. Jeff? Donna, Canada's health minister says she expects between 30 and 70 percent of Canadians will become infected with COVID-19. And of those cases, around 20 percent will be serious and may require hospitalization. Hi, I'm Marilyn. I'm from Calgary. What would the average um, stay be in the ICU with the COVID-19 virus? Global News took a tour of this intensive care unit where hospital staff are bracing for a rush of COVID-19 patients. Some may need to be hospitalized for months. The sickest patients with COVID-19 have what looks like a pneumonia on both sides of the lungs uh, that require a lot of oxygen to be given. Around 200 Canadians who were infected with COVID-19 have now recovered, released from hospital, leading some to wonder whether they might now be immune. Hi, uh, my name is uh, Ali Bakker. I'm uh, from uh, Fort McMurray. If someone recovered from COVID-19, is there a chance to have the virus again? That's a really good question that we just don't have the answer to yet. There haven't been any confirmed cases of someone catching COVID-19 twice, but some viruses, such as influenza, mutate rapidly, which is why people can catch the flu again and again. You know, every year is a slightly different virus that we're tackling with. And we don't know enough yet about this new coronavirus if it mutates as quickly as influenza. Hi, my name is Dory. I'm calling from Vancouver. I have some questions about the coronavirus. I want to know how long it lives on surfaces such as cell phones, tablets. A recent study found that COVID-19 can survive on plastic surfaces, like a smartphone case, for up to three days. While similar viruses have been known to survive on glass surfaces for up to four days. Your phone is about 18 times dirtier than like a public restroom toilet seat. This Toronto company is scrambling to supply hospitals with these smartphone sanitizers. The microwave-like devices blast bacteria and viruses with intense ultraviolet light. They've sold twice as many units last month than all of last year. Now, if you can't afford your own UV machine, you can also clean your smartphone with one of these, a wipe with at least 70% alcohol. And if you don't have one of these, Donna, you can also just wet a cloth with some soap. Good old soap and water. Jeff Semple in Toronto, thank you. Jeff will continue to consult with experts and try to answer your questions. Send them to yourquestions at globalnews.ca. And on our website, you'll find a special page dedicated entirely to COVID-19. That's at globalnews.ca slash coronavirus.